The first class for the Illinois Disc Golf Hall of Fame was in 2019. Inductees include Gary Lewis, back there working yeah. feverishly, Gary. Yeah. Brian Cummings, John Connolly, Mom and Old Man Wallace. Mom's over here in, in the pink. In 2020, we had four more added to this group. We had Paul McAllister, and I think there he is back there. Terry Batten, Marshall Hopkins, and Barrett White. So this, even this event here goes back to, was it 1981? I think this thing's been going on since, uh, it's the 39th year. Um, there's not many events with that kind of a record. So uh, that's why we do it here at the Illinois States. Um, as we've gathered information on the potential members of the Hall of Fame, I know that sometimes people think, oh, hey, what about this person? What about that person? Please send those suggestions to us so we know. I don't know who everybody is. I mean, I'm young compared to a lot of these guys out here. Um, it's my hope that these guys that have laid the foundation would not be forgotten. Uh, I'm going to start off with Mom Wallace making the first introduction. Well, my first introduction is to Wilbur Wallace. He's been playing many, many, many years. Oh, no. <laughs> and here's a few of the highlights of Wilbur. Uh, he's, like I say, he's played a long time. I know he made notes. <laughs> First Illinois state coordinator. Wilbur has worked or played 41 majors. He has played nearly over 400 courses. <clears throat> he has been a TD for over a hundred events, president of the PFC for over 10 years, Pres <clears throat> the president, founder and president of Champagne Golf Club, Innova Ambassador, and the latest, he's on the PDGA board starting September. September 1st. September 1st. <clears throat> Honestly, this is such an honor for me to be able to be here and to present my son the, the award. Do you have anything to say, Chuck? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Mike already mentioned all of the previous uh, Hall of Fame members. I just want to definitely thank you all guys also. The Hall of Fame Committee, Brett, John, Tom, Dana, thank you. I learned to run tournaments from, I don't know, I think some very important people. Um, Gary Lewis, Brian Cummings, Duster Don Hoffman, and Marshall Hopkins. Those first three are actually all in the PDGA Hall of Fame. So I'm pretty honored to learn from them. Um, I just want to thank all the players over the years that came and played tournaments. Just had a good time. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't for all the people that are that are involved with disc golf. Because God knows I can't play that well. So, um, all the other TBDs that allowed me to to learn from them and to assist them and help them out. Thank you, Innova, obviously for helping me out for you know helping especially with the the clinics and stuff that I'm running. And big thank you to my family. My wife, Linda, wherever she's at, she's hot back there. Um, Chuck, my brother, my daughter, Jennifer, and of course, Mom. And the guy that we started doing this together, and it continued for just about ever. So my dad, old man. All right, let's give a big hand for Wilbur Wallace. All right, up next, we have PDG Hall of Fame member and Illinois, Illinois Disc Golf Hall of Fame member Gary Lewis make the next introduction. When Jesse started playing, he, I think in the late 80s, he was a teenager. Um, he was a long-haired teenager freak. What he was. <laughs> <laughs> Down to his ass, I think. Anyway, in 1994, the way I understand it, Darren and Jesse started the Juliet Doubles League. They ran it for six years, summer and winter. Is that correct? Nine years? Oh, nine or ten. <laughs> uh, probably now one of the largest leagues in, in Illinois. Sometimes 110. He's run this for 28 years already. I guesstimate it's about a thousand days he showed up and ran leagues so far. So, one thing that was really great about Jesse is he made it fun. He's a great, great at teasing people. He's got a real light heart. About, he's 
great at taking criticism. He just laughs it off. <laughs> and uh, he's, uh, he makes it fun and, it, and it's really, uh, he's really got a lot of skill as far as putting it on Facebook and making it really fun his league. So he also, other things that he's done, he's the world's biggest, and I never dreamed where the world's biggest was going. I think we ran it about 15 years or so. But Jesse brought his whole family and he had the largest turnout of people for three years straight and it enabled us to actually win the world's biggest competition one year and we got nine extra holes that we installed at West Park. They didn't even last a month before we got them picked, uh, pulled out of the ground because you guys were peeking in people's windows. windows. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but uh, I'm amazed at the world's biggest, how it worked out and how many great players we have today who just started as little kids then and how badly the parents could cheat with their little kids. I mean, I had little kids shooting 38s at Shorewood, you know. Uh, so anyway, and Jesse also, then he ran a one disc league. How long have you run that? 20 years? 15? Mostly at West Park? Mostly at West Park. So. And I know there's a lot of things I don't even know. Darren should be giving this speech because he knows the jokes. <laughs> anyway, then in uh, 2009, is that correct? You took over to Illinois State? Uh, 10. Right. Yeah, I thought it was 9. I think it's 2009. He took over coordinating the, uh, the Illinois State for 2009. He's made it into a premier uh, event. Uh, gets bigger and better every year. This year, just, very, just short of 400 players. And... Uh, it's almost got to be practically a nightmare trying to run it. <laughs> I mean, all the work that goes into it, um, it, it just takes a tremendous effort to organize the Illinois State. You're working all year round to run a tournament like this. Um, and I can't thank him enough for this. Really great. He also took over the Shannon Classic, and he ran it up until last year. We got hit by a... Huh? We got hit by a flood, I mean, unbelievable flood a year ago, and uh, it kind of did a thing, so. <laughs> we also had some pretty bad weather the last few years at Illinois State, too. Not this one, but we had a couple years that was just terrible, so. Um, he works on these courses for over six weeks before our event. He's got a special machine he uses to clean, clean it, and he almost does it single-handedly. A few people help him, but. Doing that work, job, cleaning the courses up is amazing. And improving and installing most of the courses that we have installed in the last 20 years. Um, he established the award for outstanding volunteer, and it has really motivated a lot of people to help out and uh, do really great things for disc golf. And we're really very lucky, all the people that we got in this area and the wonderful courses that we got that we're so proud of. The picnic. Uh, He's known for his picnic, his family, friends, his wife Joanne, it's like one of the highlights of the year. Um, he's been doing this for quite a few years. He really makes it a tremendous amount, amount of fun and uh, everybody looks forward to it. Um, Jesse has, he has unbelievable energy. He's really a nice guy. He has the perfect personality for disc golf and he's a great leader. He's probably responsible for more people playing disc golf than anybody. 28 years as the ultimate volunteer. Yeah, Jesse. And this, this is the original sponsor sign from Naperville Course that Jesse and the Joliet Doubles League sponsored the course that is now an 18 hole course in Naperville. This is the original sign that Jesse paid for. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've known Jesse uh, when he had the long hair. Talking to the mic. Oh, talking to the mic. Okay. I knew Jesse when he had the long hair, too. And uh, we didn't get along so well because he didn't uh, uh, indulge like the rest of us <laughs> normally do, you know. But, uh, but he was all right, though. He was somebody to play with, so there weren't too many people back then to play with, so I had to play with somebody, so uh, well, we'll play with him anyway. Play with the straight guy. We'll play with him anyway. But this is for uh, 
his uh, Hall of Fame and for his endless hours in J-Town doubles. It's like running a tournament every week when he's got 80 plus people coming out for doubles every week. And plus he plays. He not only passes out all the cards, gets everybody set up, he plays with them, and then pays everybody out at the end of the game. I mean, to do that for 20 plus years, 27 plus years is a accomplishment on its own. I got this letter. It says it's marked May 31st, 2021, but I think I got it June 1st. It was the day after Memorial Day, Tuesday. Got it at work. I was there early, about 6:30 in the morning, and I get this email from Tom McManus and the letters from Mike, our state coordinator. Um, it says, Dear Jesse, you have been chosen to receive the honor of being inducted into the Illinois Disc Golf Hall of Fame. The voting for this honor is made up of the past and present Illinois Disc Golf State Coordinators and current Illinois Disc Golf Hall of Famers. These people believe you deserve this honor by your participation, competition, promotion, and contribution to the continued growth of disc golf in Illinois. Along with yourself, you are joining Wilbur Wallace to the class of 2021. You are joining the inaugural class members, which include John Connolly, Old Man Wallace, Mom Wallace, Gary Lewis, and Brian Cummings. In the class of 2021, Terry Batten, Paul McAllister, Marshall Hopkins, and Barrett White. We thank you for what you have done, the promotion and growth of disc golf in Illinois. And we invite you to attend the 39th Illinois State Disc Golf Championships in Joliet, Illinois, on August 15th, 2021, <laughs> where your accomplishments will be shared with the players and you'll be awarded the plaque of Commemorative Disc Golf honoring your induction into the Illinois Disc Golf Hall of Fame. Please send a photo for your bio uh, for the Illinois Disc Golf Hall of Fame. More regards, Mike Rapika, State Coordinator. So I get this email and uh, so I read it again and then I read it again and then I read it again and, and it's not sinking in. I'm getting pissed over at Mike because he's sending me some encrypted damn letter. It just wasn't registering, so uh, so I read it again. And then I went to the bathroom. I got up and went to the bathroom, and I'm sitting in the stall and thinking, I'm looking up in the air, and I'm reading it, and I'm, it's like, did it say you're not getting in? And sorry, Jess, you didn't make it. Or you and Wilbur, I won't be going in this year. And uh, I couldn't figure it out, and I just wasn't registering. <laughs> so, so I went back to my desk and I read it again, and then I read it again, and then my boss calls me, and uh, she says, get your ass in my office, this contract you sent out screwed up. So, <laughs> and my boss is my sister-in-law, by the way. <laughs> so, okay, so I go in there, uh, false alarm, everything's, everything's good, so I come back to my desk and uh, I read it again, and it just wasn't registering, uh, and then I read it again. <laughs> And then I said, screw it, I'm going to send it to my wife. And, uh, <laughs> and about a minute later, she texts me back. She says, yes, you won. I knew you would win. And I went, you know, I went like this. I said, oh, my God. Two things with that. <laughs> First off, it finally registered that I got in the Hall of Fame. And uh, all these emotions started coming over me. And I, from getting teary-eyed, I started sweating, uh, just everything it was it was the craziest moment but then the second thing was i had to text my wife and say you don't win the hall of fame honey <laughs> and uh, uh and she texts me back she says bullshit yes you did <laughs> so uh that was my introduction to the hall of fame and that that day was really rough because i uh so many nerves were going through and uh it was crazy but uh thank thank you mike State I would thank the state coordinators, um, the past and present state coordinators, and all the Hall of Famers that are in. You guys are so inspirational. You're the ones that are the reason why I'm doing this. I've been going to your tournaments, Wilbur. I've been going to your tournaments since I started. And, you know, it's unbelievable that I'm actually in the same sentence with everybody. Barrett, Paul, Gary. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, uh, I don't know what to say. But I need to thank people. I don't have nothing written down, so I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> uh, first off, I want to thank my mom. 
for always being there. Thanks, Mom. Um, my immediate family, I'm going over first. Uh, my son, Anthony, he's, uh, he's the behind the scenes, behind the scenes, you know? You don't hear nothing about what he does, but the stuff he does for me is just unbelievable. From getting that water at five in the morning to 12 in the morning at you know, midnight, finding a store that's open for me, um, let me use his truck, taking photos. He does, he does so much over these last 20 something years. It's unbelievable. Uh, thank you. Of course, my wife, Joanne. Uh, <clears throat> so she, <laughs> she's been there from the beginning. Longer than I thought. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry. So she's been, we've been together for 30 years, so it's pretty much she's been there from the start. And she's sacrificed a lot. <laughs> Being a TD is sacrificing. And no vacations in June, July for years. Um, me being a jerk for years, <laughs> especially the last you know month or so before Illinois State. Um, I love you. Thank you for, you're my biggest supporter. Thank you. She's also our, our top chef for, for 20 years at the J-Town Festival. So in uh, 1994, I met this, this guy with long hair, no shirt, playing Illinois State. <clears throat> and we don't know who the hell he was. And uh, Where is he? Hey, Darren, I'm talking about you. So we, we hit it off really well in 1994, and then we started the J-Town Disc Golf Doubles League. And we hit, just had an immediate connection, best friends. I mean, it was, it was great. That following winter, we started the Winter Disc Golf Doubles League, and we ran that for the first nine years, 52 weeks straight. We just did it. We finally said, eh, we need to get rid of one and try to build one. <laughs> uh, so it eventually found Mick McGowan, our winter league. And it's in the perfect home, Mick. Mick runs a winter league. That's, that's his baby. It's still going. 27 seven years later, still going. But Darren, uh, I'm not up here without you, buddy, man. We, we built, built that league up. Uh, we were together for 20, 20 years building that league, and uh, we made it something special. And I want to thank everybody who's come afterwards. Um, 2015. Dave Kasiba stepped in, and uh, perfect fit. Like everybody, been a perfect fit for this league. Um, everybody I met has been perfect. So he came in. He, he finally moved to Florida. So I was kind of solo for a little bit. But then, uh, who came in? Leo, of course, Leo did. He came in. I think one year or so, or just kind of was kind of had nobody and. Uh, so Neil always pitched in, and then this year I have Casey Glade and Anthony Rodriguez, and it's a great, great combo, the three of us, and uh, so it's been pretty awesome for uh, 27 years that we've been doing it. Uh, the people that come to our league, I want to thank. Uh, ladies of the league, you guys put a new big, big, spra, big bright light on our league this last this last year, so I want to thank all the ladies that come out. Um, our AMs, you guys are the future of this league, and uh, without you guys, you know, that's, you know, you're our future. We need all those young guys to come back up. Um, the glue, the guys that I've been growing up and seeing since they were kids, like Chris Hutter, Tom Edisevic, uh Al Hermosillo, Mick, I know these guys for so many years, and these guys are the glue because they come back every single week, 20 weeks out of the 26 that we run this league. And uh, thank you, guys. I love you guys. Uh, I want to thank Paul McAllister. Paul is the godfather of disc golf and Juliet. He started disc golf, and without him, I mean, my life has changed because of you, Paul. <laughs> Thank you very much for putting that course in and uh, steaming ahead. Thank you. Uh, Dale Del Sasso. Where's Dale? 
He's been yeah, making trophies for me for 20 plus years. I think Illinois State's got to be over a thousand trophies. League has got to be over 600 trophies or something. I don't know. Thank you, Dale. With you are are the biggest sponsor that we've had these last 20 years, hands down. Thank you so much. I I couldn't. You make me look really good, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Jason Cole. We needed a computer guy in 2010 when we started Illinois State, and uh, we knew right away who we wanted. <laughs> he's the smartest guy we know, right there, Jason Cole. Uh, he's been great. I. The amount of stuff I give him during this last six weeks to do, you know, behind the scenes is unbelievable. He just comes through every time, and every year, and thank you very much. Uh, my other big brother, Leo, thank you. You've been like a big brother these last few years, man. Um, you know, we're, we get so caught up in text and stuff, and... Uh, He's the one guy that calls me and says, hey, Jess, you know, don't worry. We got this. We're going to, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Um, he's, he's been like a big brother. He's been there. He never, never. Big brother. <laughs> never fails me, man. He, he's, he's, he's the ultimate. And I love him. Thank you very much. Love you too, man. Let's go. Uh, and finally, I want to thank. Um, Gary Lewis, yeah, without, without your support, I mean, you've been like a father to me for these last almost 30 years I've known you, you, you're the reason why I do this, you, uh, man, I can't thank you enough, um, I want to leave with the story really quick, uh, so back in, I, I've told this story a few times, but, uh, in 1998, uh, this was, we were still running the Winter League. This was a Sunday, and uh, my dad just passed away. So it was March, late March, like the ending of March. And so I was just sitting at home, and I told Darren already I wasn't coming. And my wife's like, no, you, you got to go, you know. It's no good here to go see your friends. So I did, and it was a good decision. But, uh, uh Gary pulls in, and I thought, well, maybe he's playing, but no, he just came out to see me, just to talk to me about my dad. And uh, I thought that was an amazing thing, you know, he didn't even play. He just came out, and, uh, talked to me, and, you know, he we started playing, and he drove away, and, I'm, you know, I thought, holy cow, you know, this guy's a disc golf legend, and he, he just came out, and just wanted to comfort me so and I thought man you know if I were in that position that that's the kind of person I would want to be so um, so we fast fast forward to this year I did a podcast with the discourse guys with Sean Callahan and uh, Ryan Fancher and um, so I told that story and immediately they said well Jess you are that guy and, and, you know it took me back a little bit and I kind of broke down I didn't I didn't say nothing until I got in the, you know I got in the car is when I broke down I didn't say nothing because it just choked me up a bit and uh but that's like the ultimate compliment for me and you know if I'm that to people I mean that that's that's more than I can ask for so thank you all very much thanks for coming out and uh we'll get back to our MA1 guys very quick <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Congratulations, Jesse, Wilbur Wallace, our 2021 Illinois Disc Golf Hall of Fame inductees. Thank you, guys.